Hi, it's Angel Shaver from Stephen of Kansas, and we are going to unbox my big brown box from Stampin' Up with the new stuff from the Occasions catalog and also from the celebration. And um sorry I'm late. Today I'm late because my Facebook needed updated so I get access to the live video. But I am late because Wednesday I was supposed to do this, but Wednesday my heart decided I needed to be in the hospital for a couple of days. But here we are now and I've had to wait to see into my box and so we're gonna Join, you're gonna join me. We're gonna check out these things together. It's so awesome. Let's see what's in here. The box on the bottom actually came a day early, and my family opened it. We weren't, did they didn't know what it was or where it was from. So I happen to know my big shot arrived, which means I will immediately get to play with some of the stuff in my new box. This is, oh, the dye brush for the big shot. So when I have any uh, really delicate, pieces that I need to use the precision die plate with, which is right here. I got the precision die plate. I have the die brush, which you can roll on this pad with your die and it should pop all those little pieces out for you and you not have to struggle. We'll see how it And here are some of my um, thinlets or embossing folders for my Big Shot. We'll go through them piece by piece here in a minute. I have the um, falling petals embossing folder. Not sure you can see that, but it looks like there's a lot of little tulip petals or small petals just falling. This is the Love Notes um, thinlets, and they go with somewhere in here. There is a stamp set that, oh, I think they go with the Sealed with Love stamp set. So it'll be a way to make some Valentine cards. And that is what we happen to be doing at my card class this month, the last Saturday in January. We will be making um, Valentine's. You can come and bake small Valentine's during the afternoon like kind kids get out in their classes. And then in the evening in my regular card class, I'll bet there will be some fancy Valentine's included in that class that evening. Here are the thinlets that go with the um, stamp set. I'm really excited to use them. There are these tiny envelopes to make little notes and little tiny note card sizes that fit in there. Then I have one for tags and labels. If you came to my Christmas tags class, 
you will notice that all the tags were cut exactly the same because um, I did not yet have my big shot with my tags and labels die. I'm trying to get this out of here and I'm struggling a little bit. Okay, there we go. And there's all the different sizes of tags and labels that we'll be able to use the next time we have a tags class and can make some interesting tags for our um, presents. Maybe we'll do some for birthdays or other occasions besides just Christmas. This is the window box let's die. I'm very, very excited to have this to be able to make um, some really, really cool boxes that are is that hexagonal six. I think six is a hexagon. It'll make hexagonal shaped boxes. Someday I'll do a video and show exactly how you take two of the big thinlets and put while you cut out two shapes using the big thinlet die. And then these little ones can cut decorations on the box. They can cut them on cards. You could do all sorts of exciting things with this thinlet. <coughs> The bad news about doing an unboxing video is that you get to watch me struggle to open things up instead of having them all ready just to show you. This next one are the sunshine from what stuff. And they had some words that I thought were very important and useful to me with the cards I make. Plus, you can see there's a heart that will be great to use during Valentine's. Couple flowers. And the words say hope, love, sunshine, and congrats. Sunshine's down here. And I thought those were perfect words for some of the cards that I make. I am opening up for you the Everyday Jars and Let's Die. And I will find the matching stamp set because this is another bundle that I got. Here is the stamp set, the Everyday Jars, and here are the thinlets that go with them. So you can cut out, stamp your jar, and then cut out the thinlet shape exactly that you want that will match. The same with, um, there's a little fish stamp here, and the fish shape on the thinlets along with some of the other shapes, so you don't have to fussy cut them, your big shot will do it for you. I have 
another bundle that I'm going to show you. It's the um, Star Blast Inlets with the Birthday Blast. Um, there it is. The Birthday Blast stamp set. So there's the Birthday Blast. Be able to say happy birthday or celebrate you wahoo and there's that fancy blast with the stars and then here are the birthday blast thinlets these star shape kind of matches that star shape, but this star shape could be cut out on its own. And the exciting thing about it is this, with this piece down here, it does not cut it off directly at the bottom of the stars. So you can leave a little bit of paper fold over and have this just standing up on the top of your package or you could have several of them kind of folded out making a nice 3D display. I'm making quite a mess. I'm going to have to clean up here a bit. Here's some of my stamp sets. <laughs> this is the Bookcase Builder stamp set. And I've seen it used where there's your bookcase, your shelf. And you can use however many of those shelves you would like. And you can uh, put whatever things match. But I've also seen them used where people use without the shelf. Just use the items. And there are some really great sayings that go with it. This one I got, it is part of the Hostess stamp sets available in the Occasions catalog. And it has some really cool icons that people should be able to recognize exactly what card you're sending them and why, just by the icon. And there's a circle stamp that you can put around your icon and lots and lots of different sayings. Um, missing you, sorry you were so sad, love you so much, just wanted to say hello, welcome baby, happy birthday, great job, get well soon, congratulations, wish you were here and thinking of you. Just about every single occasion you could think of to send some kind of card. This is brand new in the occasions catalog this spring. These are watercolor pencils. Let's see if I can get them open for you. There's the pencils, and they are in matching colors that go with the Stampin' Up! colors. There's um, Real Red, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Light, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Rich Raspberry, Melon, I should know these, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso, Basic Gray, Basic Black, and Whisper White. So just about any of the colors you could think of that you would need, there is one represented in this watercolor pencil set. Set those down carefully. I also got a Sending Thoughts stamp set that has some great things like um, Because I Know You, I Know You Can Get Through This, 
and um, I'm here to give you a hand, a smile, a shoulder to cry on, whatever you need. This is a really cool stamp. It says you can't do this, but here's the X you put over the T, so it says you can't do this. These are great encouragement stamps, and I got a huge thank you stamp in lots of different languages that will be there to um, just be basic background for a great thank you card. I thought this stamp so would be a lot of fun. It's buy your own present. So when you give someone a gift card for whatever occasion, there's a BYOP, it's stamp by your own present. There's things that make sure they know it's for graduation, happy together for wedding, for babies, just for pretty much anything, thank yous, birthdays, whatever. But this is a great stamp set if you are going to get some gift cards. This is the set I bought um, that's really appropriate for baby cards or little kids, but I bought it because the first thing I saw was this tiara and I knew instantly it had to be part of my collection. There are lots of different baby animals that you put whichever hats on you want and some different sayings about Easter and babies and birthdays. And I absolutely love this font on the stamp set. So I wanted to be sure and get a stamp set with an alphabet so I could say whatever words I want to say. And don't always have to wait just for the right sentiment to be in a stamp set. I also needed some basic gray ink so I went ahead and got myself an ink pad. And I got a stamp and spritzer which you can just fill up with water and spray on your watercolor pencils, on what you colored with your blender pens, or your aqua painter, just to make it spread further and make more beautiful watercolor look. I got just the stylized happy birthday because sometimes all you need is just a stamp that says happy birthday to make the perfect birthday card. I got some more stays, some stays on cleaner because when I use my stays on ink, it does not clean um, as well with just regular cleaner. You need special cleaner for that. Here is what I, the stamp set I got for Easter cards. It shows the cross, the palm branch, the lilies, and it basically, it says, Happy Easter. He is not here. He is risen which is why I celebrate Easter. And so this is a perfect Easter set for me. I'm trying to put my um, celebration items separate because I wanted to show those to you at very last. got a punch of little small um, 
teat petals punch so I can just punch out different flowers and whatever paper I have and put them on the cards. And here are my blender pens. I already had some aqua painters, but as you can see, I got watercolor pencils and blender pens today just because I love the watercolor look and I want to just see what the different implements that Stampin' Up! gives could possibly, how the, the look would be different and which one I like the best. This is a brand new Big Shot. I'm not even going to open it because you see it shows happy and celebrate. And the way that this one works, it's called debossing, and it will make the word celebrate or happy sink down into the paper. So then if you stamp or put color over it, it leaves the words white. It's a very, very cool technique. I will do a video and show you guys that later. I also ended up with some paper. That is a celebration item I will show you later. This one is the Falling in Love card stock. And I did already get and put away the Falling in Love um, Designer Series paper. It had some very beautiful paper. There's no way to just explain how gorgeous it is. But this one <coughs> has, um, it doesn't tell me the colors. It looks like maybe Soft Sky and there's Crumb cake in the middle, I think, and maybe blushing bride pink on the back. I got some 12 by 12 whisper white paper because you can't ever have enough whisper white paper. I also got some shimmery white cardstock to help with some of the watercoloring that we'll be doing. And this one is the um, Tasty Treats cardstock pack. It has a thick whisper right in the front. I believe that's Melon Mamba on the back and possibly Crumb Cake in the middle. And I also got this Here For You stamp set um, just because well, this just stinks, bad stuff happens, and <coughs> there are just experiences in life that are not the way we plan them. And so that's what this stamp set is for. It's just to uh, make cards for people who are just having those experiences that just stink. Okay, now let's talk about celebration. I will show you some of the celebration items that I have already gotten. And here's the exciting thing about celebration. If you place any $50 order, you get one celebration item for free. I would hope that by looking at what all I got, you could come up with at least $50 of your wish list. But if you don't, um, Paper Pumpkin has a special right now where if you buy three month certificate, it's $55, which will then also get you a free Stampin' Up! product. Typically, it's $20 a month, so that would make $60. So you get a good deal on paper pumpkin plus you get a free item. If your wish list is more than a hundred nine a hundred dollars, 
if your wish list is more than $100, you might want to think about um, joining my team and becoming a Stampin' Up! distributor, especially if you can't just come over and go to my classes and share my stuff. Because for $99, when you join up as a distributor, you get $125 of your choice of product, plus two free stamp sets during the celebration um, time. And if you can't come over, I mean, what, what do you have to lose joining up yourself being on my team because you get a discount on whatever products you have you whether you buy yourself or somebody else buys from you and if you're interested just give me a contact send me a facebook message send me an email to angelstamps at hotmail.com give me a call and we can talk about it but here are some of the celebration items. One thing you can get, it's not a stamp set, it's a box. And in this box, let me throw this away. In the box, there are little dividers. So you can put that in there. Um, <coughs> get well, wedding, birthday, whatever, and just put in the cards you make. Put in really whatever you want inside this little tin. I've heard that it's a good size to put <coughs> some ink pads even for carrying. So let's see if I can reach my ink pad and we'll see. Look at that. Perfect size. So you can put a, several ink pads in there to carry from place to place. The paper that I um, put back there and didn't show you, it's called the In the Lines paper, I think. inside the lines and it comes with um, different designs I believe it's three each of four designs or four each of three designs there are 12 pieces of 12 by 12 paper in here they are black and white and so you can color them whatever color you want or you can leave them black and white and give them to someone as a card for them to color in themselves. Okay, then I have the um, rolls of metallic ribbon. You get two rolls, one silver and one gold, and they come together. This is what you get, three eighths inch metallic ribbon, one silver and one gold. And I don't know if it tells me how much is in there. It does not tell me, but I, have always been amazed at how much ribbon comes in the sets and it looks like it would lay flat on your cards. I've seen it um, folded to make gorgeous bows for different packages. I happen to have some of the um, thank you stamp set that says thank you and then it has little things you can put with it so very much for your kindness from all of us or for the gift and I happen to have two extras of thank you sets so stay tuned 
I will be giving these away and I will let you know later how we're going to do that. And this is also a giveaway. It's a card set. It requires no extra products, no ink, no stamps, no stamp pad, no um, stamping experience of any kind. You get everything in there you need to make eight cards and it comes with the envelopes. And here you can kind of see one side. There's also the baker's twine, um, the different design is already printed on these stickers. So all you have to do is put them on the card. There are lines for writing on. These are pocket cards, so you make the pocket, you decorate your little white insert and write on it, and then you can slip it in there and then you just pull it out when it arrives. This will also be a giveaway, and I will let you know later exactly how that's going to happen. Now somewhere I had some more of the... There they are. I dropped them. The stamp sets. I got them. From the, some couple other stamp sets from the Celebration catalog. This one coordinates with the t-shirt set. And they fit perfectly on the front of t-shirts. But they also are very exciting sayings all on there. And this one is perfect for those who love food trucks or own food trucks or just like to go celebrate with the food trucks. And so um, there's a food truck, there's a bunch of little foods that you can put with the trucks or you can use on their own on paper and there are some sayings. Um, let's talk about how awesome you are. Happy birthday, now where's the cake? Hot dog. I love puns. And there are some really great puns that go with the food trucks here. That is all I have to show you today. Just stay tuned. There will be more. Um, there will be no, no more huge unboxings for a while, but there will be more videos about how to use some of this stuff. If you've seen anything that you would like me to do a video with or make a card, if you've seen anything you would really like the chance to play with at an upcoming card class, let me know. And other than that, I will talk to you later. Chris, can you just shut off the video? I don't do that. Just close it. No. Can't forget.